YouTube Treasure Hunters and welcome back to my channel and today we have a garter snake. Garter snakes are native to North America. Garter snakes are also harmless or most species are harmless. But they will bite. Like I got a bite from him before. Right here. I actually got two bites from him. And one right here. It's almost gone. My dog just walked right past him when we were walking her. And she didn't notice at all. Garter snakes will eat anything that they can take down. And they also have a striped pattern on their back. Every snake, including garter snakes, shed their scales after they get older and bigger. Kind of like a hermit crab sheds its shell and also sheds its skin. That's called molting. Underneath on the stomach, they have a whole different pattern. And this is a really smooth part. If you look really closely, the pattern changes as the tail gets thinner. Here it's just one line across and then here it becomes two lines. Here you can see the difference. Snakes have a type of tail that can wrap around anything and if they need to hang on with their tail and can't get anything else to grab on, they can use it as an arm or a hand. And when they need it, the tail can wrap around something and hold their whole body weight. Monkeys also have that type of tail, except for one monkey in Costa Rica called the spider monkey. Snakes use their tongues to smell things in the air. This is not a baby garter snake. It is actually close to a full grown garter snake. Garter snakes do not get that big in size, so yeah. This one's about longer than a foot, like a foot and a half. Like I said before, their tail can grab onto anything, even hanging onto themselves to make a loop. Until he just wants to be free. <laughs> and slithers away. This is actually my first time finding an alive garter snake, except for the time in Canada. In the Bruce Peninsula, I saw a bunch of garter snakes. Today was my first time getting bit by a garter snake, or any snake for that matter. And it does hurt. Their teeth inside their mouth are pretty sharp, but they grab on and then pull. So it's like ripping your skin. Doesn't go that deep in though. But they are harmless, no venom bites or anything. It is good to have one or two or three garden snakes in your garden because they will eat all of the pests that live in your garden. Garter snakes are active day or night. They also prefer moist areas that are still grassy. When they are in moist areas, they'll be near the water. In the water, the food that they will eat is leech, small minnows, or anything else they can find that they can take down. Now let's take him back to his habitat and show you guys where we got him. 
Let's do this. Take a look around. This is where we found him. So now I'm going to let him go. I'm actually going to try to catch him because I want experience. Look how excited. Oh my gosh, look, he's all twisted. Okay, so we're going to let him go that way because we don't want him going with that. He's like, is this real? Is this a dream? He's letting me pick. Your treasure hunters, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the notifications the little bell down there so that you get every new video right when it comes out. Let the adventures begin! Ding, 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 ding.